Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Now, a lot of you on Instagram have been asking me how I style my hair because I always have those loose curls when I make Instagram reels. So today uh, I will be showing you the tutorial. It just takes five minutes. It's nothing like there's no rocket science behind it. And I think what makes it so polished and effortless is because um, I have balayage uh, style color in my hair. So I don't have to put too much effort uh, into making it look stylish. I think what also makes a difference is because I have uh, this haircut with two long layers. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. Because I don't have a lot of volume in my hair, unfortunately, uh, what I do before I style them is to rub my scalp like this. So what this does is it produces the friction and I have observed that this gives a very natural volume to the hair. So what you need to do is just flick your hair, okay, don't be scared, uh, flick your hair like this and start rubbing your scalp like this. Now I can already feel some volume in my hair, not much obviously, but this also helps in the blood circulation and it's very useful for the hair growth. So this is the first step. The second step is uh, to use something to protect your hair. I just went on Amazon and I purchased this L'Oreal Paris heat slayer. So it's like a pre-iron I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, it's a pre-iron spray. Uh, so you spray it onto your hair. It will make sure that you are not frying your hair. You know what I mean? So it protects it from the heat. And because I'm also cheap, I just found the cheapest product out there because hair products can be very expensive. Now that we have ensured that our hair is protected from the heat, uh, the next step is to decide which way do you want to partition your hair. I usually uh, do my partition like on my left side so the hair can be on the right side. So I'm just gonna do that. And I have seen some people doing it like this and making it a straight line. What that does, I, I don't really like that method. Not that anything is wrong with that. It makes it look kind of artificial. I like it more natural. So what I do is I do like this and let my hair fall onto the other side and whatever comes naturally, uh, it will be natural. As, as you guys can see, it's, it's like not a straight line, but yeah so maybe like this it looks more natural uh instead of doing like this and having a straight line i don't like that and the next step is i take my hair into two halves not two equal halves obviously uh just whatever feels comfortable to you uh, two halves and then I start to detangle my hair. Now I always start with the bottom first because if you go from the top to the bottom it will damage your hair more. So always start with the bottom first. Now that we have done that next step is to just curl your hair. So for that I use this curling iron. Uh, the brand is Cognier. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not sure. I got this rod from uh, Walmart for, I guess, $20, $25 um, a couple of years ago, but it does the work just fine. So this rod has all these settings. It goes all the way from one to 25. I usually keep the heat uh, somewhere around 19, 20, so that I'm not like burning my hair. If you can, uh, just buy a simple ironing rod. You know, the one that you do this and then you're good to go. That's it. But uh, this one, I think for loose curls uh, is okay. But yeah, if you can find that simple one, that's the best because I think that's also like cheaper than this one. I usually start with huge chunks. I know we detangled our hair, but just do it once more so that the curls are more defined. Um, I will start with this portion first. I'll uh, not start at the very roots because I don't want to damage my hair, but a few inches down. So let's say four or five inches uh, below my roots. 
So I'll put it like this, do this, L shape, and then start rolling it. Please work. So this is the first one and then I will keep going up until the back. So this will be the second section and let's do this. like this and I will keep doing this on this side and then we will do it on this side. Yeah so again like this and then you need to go away from your face like this. The reason why I don't like uh, these kind of curling irons is because it gets really messy sometimes and it gets tangled between that clip. So yeah, I think that's that should be enough. <sighs> yeah, I think that's that's enough. And now I'll do the rest of my hair like at the back uh, just like I did it on this side and I'll see you guys after that. So what I'm going to do is to give it a more natural look I will start uh, to separate my hair like this. Like that. And I run my fingers through my whole head like this. Again, this is to uh, give it some volume. And now if I want, I can uh, I can change the partition as well. As you can see, it's it's right somewhere right in the middle and not on the on this side. So, I am going to do like this. So these are the final results. Um, I'm not like this is not the best because I'm not a hairstylist, but I think this does the job. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if it was, uh, please let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for all the love that you guys are showing me on Instagram. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.